If previously both Ukraine and Russia struggled to deal with the threat of small, agile drones arriving in large numbers, it now appears they may have found a solution. Will the battles become even more intense? The official Telegram account of the Russian government recently released important information regarding the country's advancements in defense technology. In the post, it was announced that Russia had successfully conducted tests of an advanced laser system specifically designed to counter the threat posed by unmanned aerial vehicles or drones. The test was not conducted behind closed doors. Russia's first deputy prime minister, Denis Mantarov, was present at the test site to witness the system's performance firsthand. His presence added strategic weight to the trial, signaling that the project enjoys full support from the highest levels of government. The laser system is being hailed as a new hope for Russia in its efforts to develop a universal air defense system, a pressing need that President Vladimir Putin had personally emphasized just a day earlier. Now, the question arises, Will this laser system be the real solution for Russia in building a future air defense that is both efficient and precise? Only time and further testing will tell. In the trials, a comprehensive assessment was conducted to evaluate the effectiveness of Russia's latest laser system under conditions as close as possible to real combat scenarios. During the testing, various crucial aspects were rigorously examined, including guidance accuracy, firing range, system reaction speed to fast-moving aerial targets, and system resilience under various weather conditions. This underscores how seriously Russia is taking the development of defense technologies capable of effectively countering modern threats. It is no surprise that NATO and its allies are closely monitoring the development of powerful Russian weapons like these. The laser systems being tested are not only a symbol of Russia's technological advancement in military affairs, but also a strategic tool capable of providing reliable protection against modern aerial attacks. With encouraging test results, Russia is prepared to move forward with mass production and scaling of the system strengthening its air defense and reaffirming its dominant position on the global military stage. Before laser-based solutions for countering drone threats become a widespread reality, Russia has already taken serious preparatory steps. In response to the growing intensity of drone attacks from Ukraine, the Bear Nation has not remained idle. One of the key strategic moves taken was the plan to modernize its long-reliable air defense system, the Pantsir. According to a report from the Asia Live, Russia had announced that the Pantsir system would soon be equipped with the latest laser technology. This significant announcement was made directly by First Deputy Prime Minister Denis Manturov during a press conference at the IDEX 2025 International Defense Exhibition held in Abu Dhabi. This move marks a new chapter in the evolution of Russian military technology, especially in preparation for modern warfare increasingly dominated by unmanned aerial vehicles. For years, the Panzer has been the backbone of Russia's short to medium range air defense. The system is designed to counter a wide range of aerial threats, from fighter jets and helicopters to cruise missiles, drones, and precision-guided munitions deployed by Ukraine and its allies. The strength of the Pantsir lies in its combination of missiles and automatic cannons, which allows it to respond quickly to sudden attacks from multiple directions. Combat experience has proven the Pantsir's reliability on the battlefield. In fact, with the development of a new mini-missile specifically designed to target drones, the system has once again attracted the attention of the international market. This interest stems not only from its high technical capabilities, but also from its adaptability to evolving modern threats. 
with plans to integrate laser technology into the Panzer system, Russia appears determined not only to maintain its air dominance, but also to usher in a new era in the global military technology race. Amidst the rapid advancement of global military technology, one major question arises, who will be left behind? Russia clearly does not want to be the answer. The country has swiftly responded to the changing landscape of modern warfare by preparing directed energy weapon technologies, particularly lasers, to counter aerial threats, especially drones, which are increasingly used in today's conflicts. For years, traditional air defense systems have relied on expensive missiles to eliminate threats from the sky. However, the shift in enemy strategies and technologies has introduced new challenges. More and more actors are using cheap unmanned aerial vehicles and mass attack tactics, effectively draining defense resources and exposing weaknesses in existing systems. This is where Russia has begun to take a different approach, integrating laser technology into its Pantsir air defense system. This move is not merely a technical upgrade, it's a strategic transformation. What are the advantages of this approach? First, using lasers drastically reduces operational costs. There is no longer a need to use million-dollar interceptor missiles to destroy drones that cost only a few thousand dollars. Second, laser systems enable near-instantaneous responses to incoming threats. Crucial when dealing with high-speed or large-scale attacks. Third, their high accuracy provides a distinct advantage in targeting small and agile objects like drones. Russia is not the only player in this arena. The United States, China, and Israel are also racing to develop laser-based defense systems, recognizing that the future of aerial combat will be defined by the speed, efficiency, and sophistication of such technologies. So, how effective are these systems against stealth profile drones? That's all for today, and thanks for watching.